this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on The uh, the Last Guardian. This is episode number two. In the first episode, I got introduced to this lovable brute up here, Trico, who uh, proceeded to knock me out twice in a, in a row, but now we're friends. Now we're best friends in the world, and I got this mirror. And it seems like wherever I shine the light of the, the mirror, then Trico shoots lightning from its tail and destroys it. So... Let's let's make that happen then, shall we? <laughs> it would be silly not to. So I found this wall over here, and it looks like it's pretty like broken up already. So let me let me try and shine a um, uh, let me try and shine the light on here, and let's see if Trico's gonna gonna blow it away. Maybe, maybe standing this close isn't a good idea. Let's uh let's back off for a little bit, shall we? Whoa, <laughs> that was a bad dash at us way. So that's gonna be very useful. So I wonder if this is kind of just used for that. I reckon that. It's going to be used for other things as well throughout the the game. I don't know. Maybe it's just the lightning mirror, just <laughs> just used to show where to to shine lightning. I had heard of these great man-eating beasts many times from the elder. Yet, in spite of their terrifying tales, I felt no fear, none at all. It's because we're best friends now, and that's why. You wouldn't fear your best friend. I mean, he did knock you out twice, as I said at first. <laughs> but since then, we've been thick as thieves, haven't we, Trico? I just love the way it moves. Look at it. Look at the, look at the way, like, he just crawls around and, like, the movements. It's just so realistic. And, like, I know it sounds silly saying it's realistic, seeing as it's it's a giant walking bird dog thing. So <laughs> there's, not, there's not much hugely realistic about that, but... I do imagine if one of these things did exist, that is exactly how it would uh, it would move. And be careful, don't, don't break the pots and pans, Trico. <laughs> I don't know why they were put there in the, the first place. I don't know where we are. Is it some sort of like giant mysterious temple, I reckon, or something? Very pretty. Oh, look at that water. Do you reckon I can jump? I've got to try. Can I, do you reckon I can jump in? I want to go for a swim. Okay, okay, you can swim. <laughs> There's always one of the, the first important tests in games is, can you swim? Because some games you just can't swim. But it seems like in this one I can. And this water just looked too nice to, to not dive straight into. Are you going to... Are you going to, to bomb into the, the water after me, Trico? I can call for, for him whenever I want. Let's, uh, let's call for him and see him, his, him make his way in. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, if I can do it, you can do it. He might cause a giant wave. Oh, he doesn't like water. I guess maybe that's the um the the cat part of him <laughs> inside of him. Maybe maybe he's a less dog than I they first uh, imagined. Looks like there's a, a waterfall over over here. Is there anything like hidden in it or anything? Nope, it's just like really knocking me back when I go and run inside of it. Like was there was there any reason for me to to come down here? Or is it kind of just a, a fun place to, to wander around? I guess it was good to, to learn that he doesn't like water. That kind of might might come into to play uh, a little bit later on in the, the, the game. He's really not happy, is he, up there? He's really grumbling uh, away. It looks like there's another doorway here. Do you reckon if I if I shine, shine it on this here, do you reckon from all the way up there he's going to be able to, to shoot the lightning down? Yes! <laughs> the answer to that question would be a resounding yes. Right then, where... Where are you supposed to go? I don't like this. I've kind of, I've kind of separated uh, from him for a, a little bit. Maybe I'm kind of climbing back up to, to where he, uh, he was before. This feels very familiar to, to Ico. Kind of climbing up the, the chains like this is something you did a lot of the, the time in, uh, in Ico. Right. Let's see if I can, I can jump off in the right direction. Let's spin around if we can. No, spin around. How do I make him spin? Okay, I guess we can just climb all the way up to the, the top. This is another way to do it. Is there anything actually up here? No, it looks like I kind of just need to to walk across here very carefully and then make my way down to, to whatever that is. It looks like there's, um, yeah, there's some sort of box. Oh, is it a box of barrels? Okay, so so these things, Trico likes to eat these. Whatever, whatever these are, whatever's in this barrel is very tasty to my big dog bird friend. So <laughs> let's see if we can uh, bring him a, a bit of a treat. It seems very heavy, by the way. I'm struggling to, to push this thing. Right, there we go. Got the barrels down. Now what? Hmm, let's have a little look around here before I jump down. So that's that's where Trico is. You can kind of just about see him outside of the, the window there. I got a bunch of barrels down. That seems like a good way to, to lure him down. I don't know what else I would um, need to, to use the, the barrels for, though. So anyway, let's let's go back down. Let's see if we can work this out. Maybe I just need to use the barrels for for, for something else. Hmm, let's uh, let's have a wander around. Let's try and work this out. Let's uh, let's pick this one up. Maybe this is just going to be um, a good way to, to lure him down <laughs> to, to where we were in case he um, 
you know, maybe this is going to be the only way to, to persuade, persuade him to, to come into the water. So let's just go and throw that in there. Not the, uh, the most convincing of throws. And oh, he's looking at it. He's seen it. Are you hungry? Oh, he's going! In he goes! Whoa! Tidal wave! <laughs> Literally, it knocked me off my feet. <laughs> okay, so what we've learned is Trico doesn't like water, but we'll put up with it if food's involved. He seems like a, like a beast after my own heart. There's things that I don't like, but I would put up with them if there's food at the end of the, the tunnel. That's very similar to, to me. Well, let's let's properly reward him. Let's give him all three of these barrels then, seeing as he, uh, <laughs> he did dive in the, the water for me. And I guess now he's down here, maybe I'm going to be able to... Oh, there he goes, eating the, the barrels. Yeah, maybe I'm going to be able to... Um, uh, use him to, to climb up somewhere or something. I feel like that's going to be a big use of Trico. He's going to be a, a big walking climbing frame for, for me a lot of the, the time so I can <laughs> get around to, to different places. So where where do I want to, to try and get to, though? That's kind of what the, the big question is. Maybe I could kind of see just where he wanders off to. There seems to be maybe something back in this direction. Oh, does this lead back up to the, back up to the, the top, maybe? Hmm, can I can I reach up here? I don't think I can get up here. Maybe this is where I need to, to get to. Let's let's call him over here. If he kind of fits in this space here, maybe I can use this to, to try and climb up to, to there. Because to be honest, on the other side of the, the walls, I can't really see many other places uh, that I would need to, to go. He's kind of just staring at me right now, though, rather than <laughs> coming over in this direction. Come on, look this way, Trico. This way. I don't know. Maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to go, but it seems to be my, my best bet so far. So yeah, I can go and just keep calling him. And then he's, he's getting pretty close. But then he kind of wanders. Oh, is he turning around so I can jump on his tail? Maybe he just can't fit through here. He should be able to fit through here. Come on. Little bit closer. There we go. Come on. Keep going. A tiny bit closer. Maybe if I just climb up on him now, I'm going to be able to, to, to get up and then get up to the, the top. Oh, where am I? There I am. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Up we go. Oh, what? I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Up onto the, the top here. And now I should be able to run along his head. Don't, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Stay where you are. Don't run away. Don't run away. I need you to stay where you are. There we go. <laughs> I was able to, to just about make it up. He didn't make it easy for me though, did he? He was slowly backing off and then pushing me out of the, the way. Excuse me, Trico. Let me go up here. Right. Is this, is this somewhere new? Yeah, I don't, I don't believe I've been here yet. It looks like there's a little opening up there that I might be able to, to get up. I think I can kind of, yeah, just climb up here myself like this. And then there's a, another tiny gap that I can get through. Like, I can already tell what a lot of this game is going to be like. It's going to be a lot of... Trico is big, so it's going to allow me to get to high up places. I am small, so I'm going to be able to, to get through the small gaps. I feel like that's where the, the teamwork's going to, to work. Also, I'm going to keep throwing loads of barrels and keep him well fed as well, which is going to be, <laughs> of course, very useful. I don't want to leave him behind, though. I've kind of I've kind of just gone through it all. Can you see him? You see for the little gap? Well, this is goodbye. I must go home to my village. I have a strong feeling that 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 this isn't goodbye. Farewell! What do you reckon? Is he gonna just smash through the wall or climb over it? I think somehow he's going to... He's going to, to follow after me. I think... I don't know, like most animals, once you give them food, they don't leave you alone. No! Stop it! Stop following me! I'm going home to my village! Go home! Stop it! Whoa! <laughs> if Trico wants to come with me, Trico's gonna come with me. It's very hard to, to say no to something that big, isn't it? Oh, look how happy it is. It seems so happy to be outside. I wonder how long it was stuck inside of there. Like, the way it had that armor on it, I feel like it was kind of used in battle or something, because it had all of those spears in it. So something obviously attacked it, and because it had all of that armor on it, I reckon that it's been kind of a slave its entire life. And now I've set it free. We had escaped the dank confines of the cave and emerged into a place the like of which I had never seen. Looks like you might need help getting back to your village anyway, young boy. <laughs> you don't have a map or anything. I wonder if he's got a sat-nav on him. Oh, you can't fly? Are your wings broken? Yes, yeah, so look, he has got wings, but they're really tiny wings, I guess. I guess his wings don't work properly. That's really sad. He's probably never even flown. I would not realize until much later, but I was now in the heart of the beast lair. The nest. Okay, so the heart of the beast lair. I don't know if it's talking about Trico or 
some other beast. I'm not entirely sure. It's very pretty here, though. i got to give it that. All right, then. Where are we supposed to go? Then it looks like this is um the only path. If you can really call this a, a path, it's a <laughs> more of a, a thin walkway on the edge of a cliff. What do you reckon the chances are of some of the ground crumbling away from underneath me? That's that's normally what happens in moments like this. You're walking along, and then the ground underneath you crumbles away. I'm, I'm betting that's going to happen. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's going to not do the, the obvious video game thing. <laughs> oh, but it looks like some has already crumbled away. Maybe someone... I don't know, playing Uncharted has been through here already and the uh, <laughs> the ground's already crumbled away and I can go and climb across the the, the chains. I still feel like it's kind of still in tutorial mode. It still keeps uh, popping up uh, telling me the, the controls. Hopefully I can either turn that off or it kind of just stops telling me. Maybe I need to to prove that I uh, I know the controls a certain amount and then it's going to, to stop telling me. Maybe it, it judges how well you're playing and I'm not playing well enough and so it keeps <laughs> popping it up. But i got to say, so far... I know it's still too early to judge. I've not had any trouble with the controls or the camera. I know there was a bit weird moment uh, later on, and maybe it gets worse, but a lot of people have said that they really struggled with the controls, but so far I've I find it, I found it not too bad. Uh, so, um, yeah, I guess that's a, a good sign. It kind of, I just didn't want anything to, to get in the, the way of us just, ex like, enjoying the, the world and the gameplay and the, the story. I didn't want kind of anything slowing us down or kind of irritating us as we, uh, as we go. Right then, well, we've arrived in a, a new area. Um, I have a strong feeling that I'm going to need Trico here. Let's go and uh, call for, for Trico. And it looks like maybe we need to, to lightning that away. That looks very, um, very breakable. So let's, uh, let's wait for, for Trico to, to arrive. Then maybe we can lighten, uh, lightning that away. It looks like there's nowhere really down I can go. Oh, look, look, look down there. It looks like there's an opening. You see kind of straight, uh, like, above my head. <laughs> there seems to be a bit of a, an opening over there. We might be able to make our way through. And hello, Trico! You look very, uh, <laughs> very elegant perched up there. Well, let's, uh, let's back off a little bit. I think he's about to, to jump. I don't think uh, he knows his own weight sometimes. Look at that, he just destroyed that whole, that whole cliff that was sitting there. Right, let's go and get the, the old mirror out. And let's sign, uh, shine it up, uh, up here. And let's see if we can use this to, whoa! That did the trick, and oh, okay. Okay, oh, is this gonna make the bridge? Is this column gonna fall down and make a bridge for us? Aha! Very, very convenient. Doesn't feel particularly safe though. Yeah, not safe at all. Let's let's run along this uh, as fast as we can because I don't know how much longer this walkway is going to, <laughs> to to stay where it is. Run, 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 and let's do a dramatic jump uh, as well, just to make it more dramatic. Oh, I wish it. I kind of wish it crumbled from behind me as I as I went. And uh, Trika, I don't I don't know if you should walk along it. It's um, yeah, I don't know. No offense, I don't know if it can hold your weight. I mean, so far so good, but. Um, okay. Maybe I was wrong, Trico. Maybe you have a, uh, a delicate foot and uh, you were able to, to get across gently without making the entire thing crumble down. So, ah, good job, Trico. It just looks so cool the way it just moves around like that, doesn't it? All right, then. Let's keep on uh, moving on onwards, uh, shall we? It looks like we've found a, uh, another large kind of indoor courtyard area. Uh, looks very do It does look very similar to, to both Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. So there was a thing, in case you don't know much about those games, and as I did mention in the last episode, I have done full Let's Plays of those games online if you kind of wanted to, to, to kind of catch up quickly, even if you don't watch through all of them, just wanted to, to get an idea of what they, they were about. And is, look, there's, some, there's something underneath here. Can I, can I pick this up and get to it? Uh, but yeah, so... Um, like, it does seem to be in the same world, because at the end of uh, Shadow of the Colossus, there was basically the ending hints that it's kind of, I don't want to spoil it, but that it's linked to Ico in some way. And um, this, like, the architecture looks very similar, and uh, the art style looks quite similar. So I do feel like maybe this is all kind of in the the same world as, uh, as the other games. It would make a lot of sense. I don't know where I'm supposed to go now, though. It looks like there's a... This is kind of just linking me back around to, to where I was before. So I don't know if I even need to, to go that way. Let's go have a, another look back down in, uh, in this room here and see if there were any other uh, obvious directions that I could go in. There's a bunch of grates on the, the floor. I don't know if I can do anything with them. Uh, oh, does it look like there's something down there? I don't think that's an obvious way for me to, to go. Maybe I just need to, to keep making my way up, uh, up this way uh, instead. There does seem to be a large gate in front of me, though, and I don't know, this doesn't seem... This doesn't seem lightningable. <laughs> it looks like maybe am I looking for some sort of switch or or lever in order to to open up that gate? That's what my best guess would be. Uh, let's go and have a look over on this side. Is there anything on this side of the room? No, it doesn't seem like there's anything over there. 
I just want to see if there's a anywhere else that I could go other than the the way that I was going before. And where where's Trico got to? I've kind of I kind of lost him already. It does look like there's like a climbing area up there, and then yeah, it looks like I need to get up to there somehow, and then climb up here. The question is, how do I get up to to there? That's the uh, <laughs> that's the big question. Maybe I can I can link around with someone up here. Well, now now where now I know where I'm trying to to get to. Maybe I can work it out because maybe maybe I just need to climb up on Trico possibly. But let's just have another little check up here, right, just to make sure I wasn't missing anything. So I'd need to kind of go right now. But no, this this entire area here uh, seems to be completely blocked off. So assuming Trico can fit inside of this room, I guess maybe I just need to 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 use my big cat dog <laughs> and uh, and uh, climb up uh, on top of of Trico. So oh, oh no, we can't. I don't think he can fit through. Oh no, oh, look at him! Oh, <laughs> he's just a little head pokey, but I'll give him a stroke. Oh dear. Oh actually, can I can I climb on his head? Oh, here we go. Can I is this gonna I don't know if this is gonna help me. Oh no! He didn't like that. He didn't like that one bit. I don't I don't think he can fit through then. Maybe Maybe, oh no, he's, he's going back through with just his little head again. You see, if that was here, look, if I, if, I, if I can get him to poke his head through here, then maybe I could climb up. Because look, there is another opening there, and then that's where there's a gap in the railing at the top there. Look, if I, let, let's come over here. Let's see if I can make him poke his head through through this side. Oh, is his head stuck? Come on, big pull. Come on, pull it out. There we go. Look, look, put your head through this side, Trico. Well, look, one last time. And if this doesn't work, I'll go and try something else, I promise. But <laughs> this seems to be my my best idea for what uh, I could do. I don't know if I can climb up any of the, the walls around here. But if he can maybe fit his head through just a little bit higher on this side here, that might be... Oh, I don't know. It's quite high up there, isn't it? It's quite it's quite the, the jump. Let's see, maybe he can fit his head through slightly higher on this section. Right, let's go and climb up quickly before he goes and pulls his, uh, his head back out. Come on, up we go. Up we go. Jump up. Can we, can we get up? Oh, no. Steady on. Stand up. Stand up. Can I jump? I, I don't know if I... I don't think I can get it. No, it's, it's not going to happen, is it? Is there anywhere, like, up here that I can climb up? There's, like... Looks like there's kind of, like, little ledges uh, around here, but... No, I don't think he likes climbing on my head when he's in there. He just is so sad with his little paw poking through as well. <laughs> hmm. Okay, then. Looks like we need to we need to keep wandering around a little bit then. Um, that, that definitely seems like I need to to get to here. So to get to there, I need to get to there. Let's kind of just follow the, the handhold. So I'd need to get up to, to there. Looks like I need to get to there, climb along to there, and then get to here to go up to get to there and then yeah then that leads me to to that so the big question is how do i get up to up to to up there then that's kind of the um the first thing i need to to work out do you reckon i do need to um to to try and get this here like it, it's relatively hidden but i can i can see it. i can't i don't seem to be able to to press to to pick it up with all of this stuff in the the way um, <laughs> charging into it like that. That didn't really seem to help either. There doesn't seem to be any way that I can I can pick this up. Like, I'm pressing circle now. Um, I mean, I, don't, I could shine the mirror at it. That's not really going to do anything. I don't know, unless it does. No, that doesn't seem to do anything uh, uh, for it there. I didn't know if, like, maybe putting that barrel down might be enough to, <laughs> to, to make Trico push even harder in order to, to be able to, to try and get in. There doesn't seem to be anywhere in this section that's going to, to lead me back round. And then, yeah, going to, to here, this kind of, once again, led me back to where I was before. Unless I can kind of edge around the outside here somewhere. Do you reckon there's any chance of that happening? Maybe if I can, like... Do you reckon I can jump and get around that corner there? Okay, I can. I can get to, to here. It wasn't a particularly easy jump. And now I can jump across to this side. No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, I survived, but that must have hurt me. <laughs> right then, I'm not entirely sure what I need to, to do now. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, seeing as we have pretty much run out of time in this episode here, and I'm okay, Trico. So, oh, look, I've hurt. I've limp I'm limping. I hurt my leg from falling down. I'm not surprised, to be honest. That was uh, quite the, the nasty fall. So yeah, seeing as this episode is about to, to end anyway, 
rather than kind of struggling on the way I am uh, in video, I'm going to play around for a little bit, have a little bit more of a look around in between this episode and the, the next episode. And then once I've kind of worked out uh, what it is that uh, I need to, to do next, I can come back in and, yeah, we can carry on where we uh, left off and, uh, yeah, work out how we're, how we're supposed to, to get up there. I don't know. I'm sure it's something really obvious and I've missed it and you're all shouting at me in the, the comments. That's usually what it ends up being when... Uh, <laughs> when I get stuck at something like this in a game. But yeah, hopefully you're enjoying this game. I'm absolutely loving it uh, from my first uh, impressions in these first two videos. Hopefully you're enjoying watching it as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!